He had a legitimate hand, ace queen, and he called my all-in raise, and I got lucky uh, making a flush. So, but it definitely keeps my, uh, it fits my image pretty well. I usually tend to win the last hand with a really bad hand, so it turned out the same way this time. Does it help you that you were voted by People Magazine as one of the most beautiful men in the world? Uh, I, I think it was the sexiest issue, but uh, uh, I don't think it helps me at the poker table. <laughs> Matt, I just missed that list of the 50 sexiest men. Last year I was 57, the year before 58. <laughs> Back out to Eric Lindgren and Todd Brunson. Lindgren has a slight chip advantage here. And with an offsuit ace queen, he'll raise to 1,200. Todd Brunson with suited queen jack. He calls. Both of these guys have quality hands. Flop is 8-3 queen. Both players pair their queens, but Eric still holds that ace, the higher kicker. Todd checked, and Lindgren bets 1,200 again. I think at this point, Todd thinks he has the best hand. It's interesting. He's just going to call here. Turns a 10 of diamonds. Todd checks again. And this time, Lindgren bets 2,500. Now, Todd has top pair, but he's also picked up an inside straight draw. He would make a straight with a nine. This is a powerful hand. He still might think he's got the best hand with top pair, a pair of queens. Come on, Lynn. Brunson moves all in. Let's worry about the quick check. Eric really doesn't know where he stands now. He's not sure if he has the best hand or not. A lot of hands I can beat, though. Pretty ugly. Eric trying to get some kind of read from Todd. He is showing the frustration he's feeling. And Todd's giving him nothing to read either. Man, I call. Lingren calls. I'm not happy with my call. He's not happy, but he has the best hand. Eric is in a commanding position here. Todd's going to need a jack or a nine, or he's going to be eliminated. Seven of hearts on the river, and Eric Lindgren advances with the Queens and ace kicker. And it's a bad day for poker's first family as first Doyle, now Todd Brunson, are both headed home. Eric Lindgren's call is our all-in magazine play of the day. What happened in this hand was Eric's first instinct was to call, then he started to doubt himself. He thought maybe Todd drew out on him. But he went back to his first instinct, he called, and he won the hand, and he won the match. Let's go to Lindsay. Eric Lindgren, uh, he raised you all in on the turn card. What were you thinking? I, I was worried that he had uh, beat got he had beaten me on that turn card. I thought that ten was a bad card for me, so I was scared. And he pushed all in, so it was a tough call. But I decided to gamble with him, and luckily I still had the best hand, and it held up. So I get to move on to the second round. This is as much fun as you could have. It, this is a blast, one on one. There's no other factors, just you and the other guy. So, Gabe, the first round of the spades bracket is complete. A lot of interesting matchups in the second round. None more interesting than Gus Hansen and his unorthodox style against Chris Ferguson. And in the club's brackets, big names advancing. Barry Greenstein and T.J. Cloutier. First round winners today include a Chris Moneymaker, Mimi Tran, Chris Jesus Ferguson, Billy Baxter, Gus Hansen, Eric Lindgren, Sammy Farha, Hassan Habib, and Amir Vahidi. Next week, the Heart and Diamond brackets, including Evelyn Ng, James Woods, Johnny Chan, Annie Duke, Phil Ivey, and Greg Raymer. We'll see you next time on the National Heads Up Poker Championship.